Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Mofri. In today's video, I want to show you how to make 10,000 Kenya shillings. That is $100 every day using this strategy. The reason why I decided to do this video is because I saw a comment on my videos and I said, why not do something like uh, show you how I do my trades. So this is how the comment was at, at first. I never thought like I will do it, but um, I decided to do it anyway. So the comment was from Lizzie and he said, Esther, you are a superwoman in FX trading, but I have an advice that you should try to record the live trade video, which you show you shows the time of entry, reason for entry and how the trade finally end up ended up. This will make many people realize what you say, because it's practically People are not much concentrating on theory. So guys, first of all, I want to correct this guy. I don't know if it's a lady or it's a guy. First of all, I want to correct him by saying, what I do, I don't teach theory. I don't teach theory, I teach practical. What I teach on my, on my YouTube channel is total practical. I teach strategies that I have tested. I teach strategies that are workable. And people have come, they come back, uh, maybe on email, WhatsApp, or even on Facebook to tell me the strategies are working. So when you say that uh, I'm teaching theory, I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. But anyway, the guy or the girl, I don't know the name is a guy or a guy. They suggested I show you guys my live trading. They said, can you show us how you enter the entry point? how you take profit and how you exit the trade and i said fine i'll do this video because they took time to comment on my video and i know they they were in a good place they were not like attacking me but i just wanted to correct them i don't do theory i do practical so today i was trading nsdchf and usd card so i just want to show you how you can make 10,000 a day, that's Kenya shillings, or $100 a day using very simple strategy. So what we do, we will start, we'll do that video. Uh, we are, an, I'm analyzing NSDCHF and I'll tell you where I entered and I even I'll give you a screenshot of how, uh, how I, I got the entry and I even sent it to my group. You know, guys, I have a mentorship group which even if I, I give you the course, you do the course, it has a lifetime mentorship. So in that group of my students, I always send my entries and I tell them where to, to take uh, my take profit and the reason why. So NSDCHF, the first thing that I saw here when I came, I saw it has been, uh, there's a zone, there's a key zone, there's a support there that is not getting broken. So that was the first thing that I did. I just uh, knew that this market uh, will do something. So there's this market that it is not breaking this zone. So, and it was, it has been touched once, twice. So my entry was on the third attempt. So what I did, I waited for a bullish, uh, a bullish engulfing candle or a buy signal, I call it a buy signal. And for me, what I saw, it was a, dub, a, a triple bottom. Because yes, there are some people who traded a double a double bottom, uh, targeting the neckline. Let me show you, uh, targeting the neckline. This is the neckline. So there are people who traded this, targeting that neckline. <clears throat> but the market has come back again. The market, uh, the mat, the, 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 this is the first bottom. Then the market went here. It created the second bottom and the market was supposed to come here on the neckline because this is our neckline. But eventually the market went down to test our zone this, that time. And this is where I saw an entry, guys. This is where I saw an entry. Why? If I, um, if I put my 20 EMA, because I also use 20 EMA to guide me, if I use 20 EMA, I would have, I saw that this market even broke the 20 EMA, and I was like, fine. If it broke the 20 EMA, it means the sellers, the buyers are willing to push this market even further. I told you guys, once 20 EMA is broken, your target, your next target is 50 EMA. 
once 50 ma is broken your next target is 200 ma and that's the strategy that i use so if i put the 50 ma if i put the 50 ma like that you see if i put the 50 ma the 50 ma uh the price will come to the 50 ma that's my first tp and then if i put 200 ma is my second tp and that's how i trade so this being my second tp i'll put there as my second tp and this one being my first tp uh 62 50 the 62 that was my my first tp it was there 62 30 so what I did, I only waited for the candle. I'll even give you a screenshot on when I entered. I entered this trade when it gave me a bullish and bullish engulfing candle. So guys, yes, the market was on our zones, but you have to wait. Waiting is what breaks or makes you. That waiting, if you don't wait, it can break you. You see, this candle you can see very clearly this candle what it did this was a bullish engulfing candle so my entry was very easy my entry at this moment was as easy as one two three so um long position immediately that candle closed that was my entry stop loss was just below i'll even give you a screenshot of how i did this and even i sent it to the group and i told them target was the first target was 62 30 it was 62 that we were targeting 62 that that was our first tp uh i had done that and my second tp that has not been hit yet was uh 62 6240 had put 62 6280 sorry i had put 6280 so my second tp being 6280 i was targeting all the way I was targeting all the way to this zone, but I knew if the market reacts to the 200 EMA, of course, I can close the trade. So what happened? I had given out the TP, TP1 to be 62.30, but immediately the market came to the 50 EMA. I saw the market can react. And guys, I'll even show you a screenshot of telling guys to come out. I told them to close NSDCHF because for me, what I realized is the market was at the 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 50 ma and some people they don't they don't like holding for me i will hold until it hit my tp because i know the market will continue going up but for my student because we have there were 30 pips in profit i didn't see there were not even 30 pips there were almost 40 40 something 45 pips in profit i told them to close that trade and i will give them maybe an entry so that was my first trade and it was you can see that trade uh is almost at almost 70 dollars on my live account and i will just leave it for it to hit tp because we are targeting on this zoom so if tp tp1 is hit i'm good and uh, now we are targeting on the 200 dma or on the zone i'll just keep a watch on it so the other trade that i did was usd card i'll even show you usd card i gave my students again i gave my student this uh this um trade i'll tell you why i entered this trade okay uh it's ongoing trade it's just that i if i wait long i don't know if i'll do this video so i said let me do it so the first thing like the nsd chf i identified a zone so that is my zone you see this trend line i have a trend line here that the market is reacting to so immediately the market was at the trend line and it has been tested two times so the that time for me i enter when a zone is tested multiple times so if it is tested two times i can wait the third time the third time i'm ready to enter so you can see it was tested one it was tested tested again two now this is the third time so my entry was here and uh the trade is doing very well we are how many pips almost 20 pips in profit so i'll still screenshot and give you and even show you guys because some people think oh you're doing a playback it is easy no we entered immediately that candle started and our stop loss is just below the this high there's a high here and then uh if i put moving average is what i told you guys moving average give me where to target if i put 200 i know the market can go to the trend line i put 20 ma 
I know take profit one is at 2,500 and even told my student uh, to do that at 2,500 and the third take profit is at 25.40 so that's my take profit so the trade is ongoing we are profit we are in profit at almost 20 pips we're in profit in 20 pips so these trades are running sometimes you cannot sometimes it's hard to to film or to do a video when you have running trades so this trade is still running and i hope it will come here so by the time you are seeing this video i hope the, the i hope my tip will be hit but if it will not that's how i do entry so i have answered that guy who asked who said that people will will concentrate let me see if you guys will concentrate on this video let me see if you're interested this guy said you will be more interested to see how i'm entering rather than teaching you something like a strategy so this is how i enter and that the, the video is over that's the video and the, I hope the guy is happy now. <laughs> so guys, uh, if you have another question, just comment and I'll be doing video. I will do either a fr Friday video will be some comments from, from people, different people when they see something in my videos and they want to ask, ask a question and Fridays they'll be ans I will be answering a question and today I have started, I've answered this guy. This is how I do enter the market. That's how I target my TP. I target either 20 MA, 50 MA, and eventually this, this market will come here. So my TP is distributed according to the 20, 50, or 200 MA. And my entry, I need to see a zone tested multiple times. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye-bye.